Now I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint in a separate partition and dual boot with Windows directly from an ISO file saved on your hard disk without any CD, DVD or even USB pen drive. Download this tiny program Grub2Win. It installs Grub in Windows BCD so that you can customize boot entries. I have already downloaded the Grub2Win zip file. Extract Grub2 to C drive. Go to C drive and open the Grub2 folder. Run Grub2 Win. It will show you various options to edit. If you are using it for the first time and you don't know what to do, don't change anything and click OK. It will create a BCD entry to boot Windows only, so you won't mess up. We will manually edit the other settings. Close the program. See, it creates a new file grub.cfg. Now we edit the grub manually. Open this grub.cfg file in notepad. Scroll down to the segment which starts with menu entry. Grub can boot from any live DVD image. See, I've already downloaded the Linux Mint ISO file and placed it in C drive. Add this six magical lines, which tells Grub where to find the live DVD image and how to boot from it. Save it and restart computer. Grub2Win creates a new boot entry alongside Windows 7. Choose the option Grub2 for Windows. Look, Grub has listed the Linux Mint entry we have created. Alongside Windows, you can add multiple entries of any Linux distribution or any live CD DVD images in this way. Select Mint and Grub will now boot from the live ISO image. We have successfully booted from the live Linux Mint ISO image. Here, I'm gonna slice the first partition to make enough free space available for the installation. But it won't let me unmount the partition, because the Linux Mint ISO image is there. First, we need to unmount the drive, then we can resize the partition table. Though we are booting from the ISO image but, after logging into live session of any Linux distribution, the ISO image is no longer needed. The entire operating system is now running from RAM. So, we can forcefully unmount the drive without collapsing the live session. Open a terminal and run the following command. Look the drive is not mounted anymore. We can now resize the partition table. Open Parted, a very important tool to customize partitions. If you want to install Linux in other partition, first unmount and continue resizing the partition. Shrink the volume and get around 10 GB free space. We can manually create the root partition and the swap partition, but let the installation process ubiquity do the job. Now we are ready to install Linux Mint. It'll prompt a message to unmount drives before continuing installation. Just click yes. Look, it automatically detects the operating systems installed in your computer. 
to create a multiboot system, install Linux Mint alongside them, or select something else if you want to manually edit. Ok, Linux Mint is now installed. Restart computer, and let's see. Thanks for watching.